Are we ready? One more time, somebody say, all my problems, sit down. For I want to sing and dance unto my God. Wait, oh, you know, wait a two weeks ago, we sang and danced. And the cripple began to walk. And God said to me, my, there are 18 other cripples that I have healed. In response to that song, call them to stand up. Call Pastor Joe, what happened? 18 cripples walked up. 18 cripples got up and began to walk. This night is the night of limitless possibilities. Let's go. Good, that's music. declaration last night that God will heal 1,000 people this night. I did not say he will heal those who believe, even those who do not believe. At the full gospel national convention in Kaduna, 1990, I walked into the convention center a woman began to shout. They say, if you come, I go walk. Now you don't come. They don't forget me. I won't walk. And I said to her, Madam, stand up and walk. She asked me, you not pray, say, so I stand. You will, so. <laughs> but I got angry and I asked him not to be angry. Madam, I will decide the angle by which you reach the center. Stand up. A woman behind her, who was also crippled, got up before her, and heaven opened. This is your night. No, tell somebody, this is my night of miracles. 
But what is a miracle? A miracle is God suspending the natural laws of life that he may wipe away your tears. Take your seat. Let's go to Luke chapter 13. We take 10 through verse 11. What does it say? And behold, spirit of infirmity, 18 years, and was bowed together, and could in no wise lift up herself. When Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thy infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And the ruler of the synagogue answered, No, that's okay. Right where you're sitting this night, sickness is a spirit. Can we see the book of First John's Epistle, chapter 3, verse 8? What does it say? He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of Man was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Right where you are sitting, Jesus came to destroy the works of Satan. Okay? That big man walking, can you stop him? Give him somewhere to sit. I can see he's uh, wearing a very costly dress. Thank you. But sit down. I want you to hear me right where you are tonight. Jesus came to destroy the works of the enemy in your life. Every sickness is the work of the enemy. And by my spoken word tonight, that sickness shall go. We are talking about the spirits of fever, the spirits of cancer. We were in Paul, near on nature, at the women's fellowship. I saw the crowd and I was amazed. There were more than 10,000 women. And God said, oh man, don't pray for them. For I will heal Cancer patients without prayer. The first time God said this to me was in 1987. We were in Omaha Stadium. Two pastors who quarreled reconciled because of that program. And God came down to honor us. I did not pray, I did not sing, I did not dance. And miracles began all over the stadium. My wife said to me, I have never seen it before. Don't stop it. Hey, don't stop this move of God. Madam, your husband has just lost his job. If God can perform miracles without me playing any role, I'll be jobless. Nobody will invite me again. Tell God, if I've offended him, he should forgive me. Let me dance and miracles will happen. Let me jump. And God said, oh my, allow me to do what I'm doing. Right where you are. Come. The, who, who are the ushers we have? Stop the people who are loitering about. Please. Let's show respect to God. Let's honor him. The Bible said, be still. I know that I'm what? God. Right where you are this night, I want you to recognize the peculiar concentrated presence of God where you are. The Bible says, where two or three are gathered, this God shall be there. And we are more than two. We are more than three. We are more than four. This God has no choice but be here. Everything known as sickness 
Jesus came to destroy that sickness. I want you to hear me. Whatever sickness you walked in here with, you will not go back with that sickness. Men and brethren, when I told the people of Fungpo what God said to me, that he asked me not to pray for the sick, but that he will heal them. And I called for those who had been healed. We had 1,500 people. Give God a good clap off from somebody. Whether kidney failure, you saw the young man that gave a powerful testimony here who had cancer. What was that? Cancer of the what? The young man that said, I prayed for him and the cancer disappeared. The same God is by your side. Now say the amen louder. Jesus came on purpose for a purpose. To destroy every sickness in your life. Therefore, no sickness has a right to molest you. Can we hear the book of Mark, chapter 16, let's see verse 17, 18, 19. Open your Bible. Go right where you were sitting. This crowd has amazed me. It's more than what I've ever had all these nights. And the more, the more the turnouts, the more the anointing. The more the anointing, the more the miracles. God will do unbelievable miracles this night. Yes, sir. And these signs shall follow them that right, believe. Right where you are sitting, heaven is declaring what will happen to those who believe that Jesus came and died for them and rose again and lives. I have seen Jesus more than 12 times. Yes, sir. Read on. In my name. In my name. Shall they cast out devils. Every demon around you and in you shall be cast out tonight. <laughs> God has given you a place of honor, promotion, and lifting. You no more beg Satan to leave you alone. You command Satan to leave you alone. And he has no choice but obey. Yes, sir. Read on. They shall speak with new tongues. To speak with new tongues is to call for reinforcement from the commander in chief. I used to smuggle Bible to China. <laughs> My friend who just passed on in Lagos, told his crowd, his church crowd, woman used to be a smuggler. He used to smuggle Bibles to China. Woman is a crazy man. <laughs> we got to Hong Kong, three of us. The, the two of them dreamt where they were arrested and locked up and jailed. I didn't dream that dream. So I told them, maybe I'm the only one qualified to continue to smuggle Bibles. <laughs> as I, as we drove, drove, as we went into, into China, as we went into China, they asked me to place my suitcase that contained 300 Bibles upon their machine. I obeyed them. But I began to speak in tongue. I said to God, Father, don't allow me to die in a foreign land. Don't let them jail me. Fight for me. Speak for me. Men and brethren, I didn't know that was a very powerful command. This God came down. As I placed the, the suitcase upon their machine, the suitcase began to grind their machine. It became powder. They asked me, are you a native doctor? No, I am worse than a native doctor. 
that can cause trouble for you, China, you will not believe him. <laughs> Right where you are this night, you are not alone. He who knows everything about your problems is by your side. He will fight for you. And he will win for you. Nobody can disobey him and go free. This is your night of miracles. Go on, sir. They shall take off serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick. They shall lay hand on the anybody that has a hand here. Can I see you raise up your hand? That your hand is a healing hand. It will make you a miracle worker. Wow. Raise it very well. Say to your hand, my hand, you will make me a miracle worker. <laughs> Awesome God. Awesome God. Read on, sir. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Wait. If you listen to him well, the Bible, the, the Bible says they will lay their hand and they will do what? The sick will recover. Now, if you notice well, he, God said it with a touch of finality and a hint of conclusion and a measure of authority. God gave no room for doubt. Therefore, this your hand shall tonight perform miracles for you. A few months ago, I had neck problem. My doctors asked me to submit myself for surgery. And I said, that's option one. Option two is that I will lay my hand on my neck and command my neck bone to return to its assigned place. I laid my hand on my neck and commanded that area, that, that, that bone to return. And I said to my doctors, come back tomorrow, let's see what God had done. They came back the next day and the bone had returned to its assigned place. If you must doubt anything, the best thing to doubt is to doubt your doubts. Because right where you are, you're a candidate for miracles. No, say it well, man, please. Read on, sir. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord walking with them and confirming the word with signs following. Confirming his word was signed following. Right where you are this night, he whose power has no measure nor comparison is by your side. He has seen your tears. He has felt your frustration. He has come. He has come to heal, to make you happy. He will turn your lamentation into laughter. He will turn your disgrace into great miracles. Every stone your enemies have thrown at you shall become your stepping stone to greatness. Jesus left heaven because of you. That means you are important to God. Tell somebody, I am important to this almighty God. Can we run to the book of Mark chapter 9? We take verse 25 and 26. Yes, sir. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I there, there, are, there are spirits and almost every spirit who will not surrender without a fight. And therefore tonight when the power of God shall break out and break forth and break through, all the demons harassing you shall protest, but the protest shall be ignored. It shall be ignored. They have to obey the master. 
They have to obey the master. Read on, sir. Saying unto the dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. And he and the spirit cried and rent him sore. <laughs> Wait. There is something in you that will compel, compel demons to obey you. There is something in you that will compel demons to obey you and leave you alone and just run away from you. That thing is the Holy Spirit of God. He who raised Jesus from the grave will raise you up tonight. I, I can I hear a happy amen. Right where you are this night, nobody shall be ignored. Nobody shall be left behind. You have cried enough. What has a beginning must have an end. What has gone up must come down. Jesus spoke to these little demons and they obeyed him. That same Jesus is by your side tonight. The devil shall also obey him. You have suffered enough. I, I, I have shared this testimony over and again. A woman saw me here in New York. She said, you know I have no child these five years. And you are not bothered to pray for me. You are a bad pastor. <laughs> Madam. For turning your mouth into a basket now. Your punishment will be this. Every year, one child. Every year, one child. Every year. She began to have children. Had five. Came back and said to me, ask God to remove my womb. I'm tired of having children. Madam, the second church bell has not, has not been heard. She said, I'll kill myself if you don't ask God to remove my womb. Madam, if you kill yourself, I'll slap you on your two cheeks. The first daughter of a, a serving governor here in this state came to our meeting and died. I went and slapped her on her two cheeks and said to her, people come here for miracles. They don't come here to die. Come out! She asked me, where am I? You're asking me where you are? <laughs> right where you are this night. There is a mark on your face that says if God will heal one person only, you will be that one person. Jesus came to destroy the works of the enemy. And tonight, the works of the enemy shall be destroyed. It shall be destroyed. It shall be destroyed. It shall be destroyed. And no demon shall disobey us. Let's go on to let's go on to the book of Mark chapter 1. Let's see verse 23 through 26. An unclean spirit has limited power. They can make noise, but they have limited power. The Bible says that the name of Jesus, every knee shall do what? Bow. And this night, at the name of Jesus, every demon harassing you shall leave you alone. Men and brethren, you are on the right side of life. You are on the right side of life. Jesus came to destroy every, 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 every what? Every walk of the devil. You'll be set free. You'll go home rejoicing. Now hear me. Tonight when you go home, your sleep shall be healing sleep. 
<laughs> a city governor called me and said, oh man, I, for eight weeks now I have not slept. I'm about to die. I've given money to my wife to bury me well. And I said, uh, Your Excellency, there is a new anointing in the air. That new anointing is known as healing sleep. You are going to sleep for two days without waking up. He said, That you, man. That you, man. I'm telling you, I have not slept for eight weeks. How will I sleep? <laughs> Your Excellency, this God will take over the miracle of causing you to sleep. You will sleep and sleep and sleep. Two days will be well. Two days after my phone rang, he, he said, Do you know, I am well like a baby. I am well like, like uh, a bell. I'm coming to you to thank you. You are the next person to have such testimony. Amana, eye na basi amana ai. Amana, eye na basi amana so so ngo. Oh amana mo, amana mo, eye na basi amana mo, amana mo so so ngo. Amana mo, amana mo, basi amana mo so so. Oh amana mo, amana mo. Amana mo, amana mo, amana. Hey, you na basi amana so so mo. Oh, amana mo, amana mo. Jesus, amana mo, amana mo. Hey, you na basi amana so so. Oh, amana mo, amana mo, amana mo. Hey, you na basi.
come to the book of Mark chapter 5. We take verse 2 to 5. And we take verse 8. And when Get he it? was... Yes. When he was come out of the ship, immediately they met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit. A man with an unclean spirit. Who had his dwelling among the tombs. Yes. And no man could bind him nor... No, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him, and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee? Jesus, thou son of the most high God, I judge thee by God, that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered and said, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he will not send them away out of the country. Go to verse 8. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Men and brethren, demons obey commands. I, I was buying petrol along uh, Umuahia Bar Road. A young man walked up to my security men and said to them, I want to greet Oga. They said, no, 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 no. no. He, said, he said, don't shout. I am that mad man. He asked that the rope they used in chaining me be broken. And they removed the chain. I have gone back to school. I am now doing a degree program. Tell him I want to greet him. I was speaking in Abia. And I said to God, every family that do not have successful sons, may they each buy a jeep. May they each find their way to UK and US. May they become prominent. May they become successful. This night, my spoken word shall change your destiny. I was driving back to you, a man blocked my way. He said, sir, I am the first son of my family to buy a Jeep. And I wanted to show you the Jeep. I was excited. You have no business with poverty and struggling and lack. What has a beginning must have an end. Raise up your right hand. I, I command and demand that this your right hand shall carry great and fresh anointing. Whatever you lay this hand to do shall prosper. Shall prosper. You know, Peter was struggling and toiling for an entire night and caught no fish. And the master came. Poverty is the work of Satan. Enough is enough. This night, whatever you lay your hand to do shall prosper. God will bless you with wisdom. He will give you creativity. He will give you imagination. He will show you how to, how to create wealth. You have no business with poverty anymore. If you believe it, shout hallelujah three times. Right where you are, 
Satan will obey the voice of the master. What did I say? Satan will obey the voice of the master. He has no choice but to obey the voice of the master. I don't know whether you know, Jesus never referred any case to higher authority. Because there is no higher authority. This night is your night. What is your night? Remember, Jesus came to destroy the works of the enemy. Whatever is the work of the enemy in your life is in trouble. It's in trouble. It's in trouble. And right where you are sitting, you are not sitting alone. There is this presence of God upon you. And the presence of the Holy Spirit. And because the Holy Spirit is upon you, Satan cannot say no to your command. I am I'm, I'm excited to hear that Jesus came to destroy the works of the enemy. And this night, this night, your hour of freedom has come. Let's go to the book of John 19.30. When Jesus, therefore, had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave Jesus up the ghost. Jesus was simply saying, your sorrow is over. Your suffering is over. You are struggling and toiling is over. And because of you, he went to the cross of Calvary. And when he announced what had happened, he simply affirmed and confirmed that he suffered because of you. Therefore, you can't suffer again. Can you raise your hand and shout hallelujah somebody? I'm going to... You, you noticed yesterday I did not even preach for a long time. And miracles were everywhere. My anointing demands that I declare and heaven shall bring it to pass. I don't have to jump. I don't have to shout. I just have to announce what God will do. This is a level of anointing God has blessed me with. And this night, your lamentation shall become laughter. Can we all stand up? Uh, choristers, give me workers who will help um, take control of those that the power of God shall confront, the power of God shall attack, the power of God shall set free, the power of God shall grant them their freedom. And from this night henceforth, Satan will no longer play a role in their lives. It is a bow by way, oh, to the kid in Oh, 
from where you were born it is cancelled there are 25 persons that the power of God shall overwhelm 25 persons that this God shall set free this night and their problems shall be, shall be forgotten this night this night is your night of freedom. Somebody help, somebody help, somebody help. What are the men now? Help us. What are the women? Please put her and ask her to sleep for three minutes. Everyone just say to God, don't pass me by. I cannot, I cannot watch you pass me by. I must have my own miracle this night. Everybody, talk, take five minutes and talk to God and ask him not to pass your by. Tell him to meet you at the point of your need and bring healing to you. God has promised that 1,000 people shall be healed tonight. And they shall be healed. They shall be healed. They shall be healed. Wherever they are, workers, help us. People are... Father, every spirit of sickness, every sickness that has a name shall no longer occupy the body of any child of God. Their time has expired. Their time has expired. I therefore command and demand that they be set free, be set free, be set free, be set free. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, Bring them out, bring them out so that we know when we have a enough number. Father, every barren spirit, every marine spirit, every demonic spirit, 
Every, every spirit that won't let a woman conceive and have her own child. Father, everyone who asks and query and say, Where is my God? Father, demonstrate your power on their behalf. Let them be set free. 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 How many do we have? Number nine. Number nine. Father, no demon shall escape. Arise and scatter the works of Satan. Father, on my left hand side and on my right hand side and in front of me, all those who are crying in their hearts saying, God, don't pass us by. Whatever they are, Father, honor their cry. Father, honor their cry. All those who are going through hardship and struggling in life, Father, they walk like elephants and eat like, ran, ran, like ants. May your power set them free now. Father, all those everywhere they go, people don't want to see them. Let there be a change now. They shall be loved. They shall be accepted. They shall be honored. And Father, let the miracle of deliverance start. Father, let the miracle of promotion start. Lift them up. And Father, honor them. And wipe away their tears. How many do we have? Number 20 coming here. Number 20. Remaining five. Father, there are five persons who should not and will not be under the bondage of Satan. 21. Four. Enough is enough. What has a beginning must have an end. You have already paid the price for the health and they must have that health. Father, on my right hand side, on my left hand side, in front of me, let your power break every yoke, every yoke, every yoke, every yoke, every yoke. Down, power of God, in the name of Jesus. Move. How many do we have? Number 30 coming there. 30. Yes, sir. Awesome God. Can you give a good Pentecostal clap of friend unto our God? Five outside master. the fence. Huh? Five outside Five. the fence. <laughs> awesome God. Father, everyone that wrote a request and brought it to this altar. May you raise up your hand wherever you are. You wrote a request. You expressed your desire. You said your prayer in a written form. Father, every prayer on this altar be answered now. This year shall be the best Christmas. They will enjoy surplus supplies. While others are begging, they will be having surplus. They will enjoy good health. They will enjoy good health. And Father, you fight all their battles. Every voice that speaks against them shall speak no more. How many do we have? How many do we have? 43. 43? Yes, sir.
Yini media ni nasi upa Yini media ni nasi upa ngendi nyanga Yini media ni nasi upa Yini media ni nasi upa ngendi nyanga Yini media ni nasi upa Yini media ni nasi upa ngendi nyanga Yini media sun was setting, all they that had any sick with diverse diseases brought them unto him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them all. There's what to call healing anointing for all. Right where you are this night, there is an announcement in the air that the healing upon this ground is healing for everybody. We were in Umawolo, and God said, my anointing upon this ground is for everybody. And there was this man who could not walk properly, who used to frequent the United States of America for medical treatment. And God catapulted him through the roof where we were, changed his two legs, changed his waist, and brought him back. Come on, give God that we'll clap of free. Do you know, two years after we went to Mawolo, the man was still celebrating his miracle. If you are within the reach of my voice, you have no excuse. There will be no excuse. Anointing upon this ground is for everybody. Right where you are. Your tears have been turned into laughter. Those who mock you shall now celebrate you. Those who say you are nobody will now discover the mistake they have made. Every sickness that has a name, I declare, has been healed. Has been healed has been healed. We have had programs on this ground repeatedly, but never have we had this kind of crowd. Come on, give God a good clap of faith. No, clap like you are happy. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. 
Alléluia. you to listen attentively and intently and earnestly. There is something powerful God is about to say to you. Yes, sir. But he answered and said, every plant which my father had not planted shall be rooted up. Right? Every sickness in your body was not planted by God. Every sickness. I don't care what the sickness is. Every sickness. Every problem. That sickness that won't let you celebrate God and rejoice. When people ask and say, if you're a child of God, how come you are going through this? Tomorrow, they are going to say, because God is with you. Your problems have become promotion. Please, agree with me that no sickness shall leave this compound. Uh, you saw a little girl was brought to this compound before the program started. And she was healed without anybody praying for her. If God can do that for that little girl, he will do it for you. He has done it for you. I, I like that beautiful line. He says, whatever God has not planted. God did not plant sickness in your body. Every cancer of the breasts. Every cancer of the liver. We were in Abba last year. They brought a man who was crippled. Who also, who also had cancer of the liver. He was looking so wretched. I began to cry and ask God, how can one man have so many problems? And God said, what makes a man cry is what he has called the man to solve. Raise a song, just ordinary song. Men and brethren, we went from song to song from song and the young man got up to dance. Come on, give God a clap of prayer. Every, everything God has not planted in your body is now uprooted. Yeah. 
And the doctor said to me, we saw no sickness in your body. Only you don't know how to rest. Give us back the bed we gave you. It is for the sick. Uh, doc, what are the money I paid for the bed? He said that's your punishment for not knowing how to rest. Huh? 47,000 pounds. I, I, I didn't know when I said to them, you people are better thieves than Nigerians. <laughs> right where you are standing this night. This God has already wiped away your tears. Those who hate you shall now hug you and greet you and give you gifts. And every voice that speaks against you shall speak no more. How many do we have? How many do we have? Huh? You have lost count. <laughs> Father, everyone who is part of this program this night, turn his or her lamentation into laughter. Everyone who is part of this program tonight, give him or her a testimony. A testimony. Tomorrow shall be our testimony day. But we have people that shall give an amazing testimony. I declare this coming Christmas shall be the best Christmas we have ever had. And every voice that speaks against any child of God here, that voice shall speak no more. They will not borrow money to go home. They will not beg anybody for money. Father, bless them with surplus supplies. Those they don't know shall bless them. Those they know shall bless them. And wherever they go, goodness and mercy shall follow them. It shall be so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Wake up all these people. Let them, let them stand up. Everybody probe and search and find out if God has blessed you and honored you and healed you. If you have been healed tonight... I have said last night that God will heal 1,000 people. If God honored you and favored you and blessed you, and you are one of the 1,000, can you please graciously raise up your hand with a beautiful smile rippling through your lips? Just raise your hand and somebody come for us. Pastor Joe and Co. And uh, Archbishop, let us by to join us to count. I did up to 1,000. Huh? This is over 5,000. Over 5,000. Yes, Father, with what you have done tonight, may this state where we are be a land of peace. A land of honey. A land of prosperity. Father, every voice that speaks against us shall speak no more. All those who are planning to cause mayhem in this state shall fail. Those who are planning how to kidnap people shall also fail. Father, Father, send your own angels. The government called me and said, I'm robbers were stealing in Uyo. And I said to the commissioner of police, don't bother in two hours' time, they bring back what they had taken. And in two hours' time, they brought back what they had taken. 
all the angels who were on duty that day, may they continue to be on duty. Father, I'm handing over this state to you. Let no man born of a woman create confusion or bring about crisis. I will ask that the, the next government it shall be a peaceful government. It will be a continuity of what the present government is doing. Those who want to create confusion, I declare they have failed already. And no man born of a woman shall stop the blessings of God upon this land. Father, there shall be prosperity on every side. There shall be peace on every side. COVID-19 COVID has nothing to do here. <laughs> it has nothing to do here. The people of God shall enjoy good health, long life, promotion, prosperity. And there shall be peace in every home and peace in every village, no matter how small the village may be. Father, increase our love for one another. What did I say? Father, increase our love for one another. May we love one another more than any part of this country. For we are a Christian community. The Lord is our master. He demands and commands we love one another. Beginning tonight, nobody is good enough to be our enemy. Nobody. Father, fight our battles. Fight our battles. Fight our battles in Jesus' name. Can we give the Lord a Pentecostal clap off from somebody? We are looking for those with fantastic testimonies. And I will ask that God will give us 20 beautiful, fantastic testimonies. And if you have a testimony, see our leaders. I'll see uh, Pastor Sam Paul. See him, they'll, they'll write your name. And I would like, I, w I don't know if you know, testimony simply means what God has done for others, he will do for you. Testimony means we're not playing. We're doing real business. Testimony means that this God is real. He's not a pretender. It's a serious thing. So if you are one of the 20 persons, get ready to give us a beautiful, refreshing, reassuring testimony. Can we give the Lord a good clap offering, everybody? If you are here tonight and you want to partner with God through life, you don't want to walk alone. You want God to be your partner, your father, your Lord. You want him to turn your sleep into a school where he will teach you what to do to do well in life. Men and brethren, men and brethren, God wants your sleep to be a school where he will be the only teacher and you'll be the only student. The, the highest mountain in life is a mountain of ignorance. Give your life to Christ that God may start a school for you tonight and help you to rise above all members of your family. By this my demand, you are going to become the the treasurer of your family. They will not discuss anything without you. When they want money, they'll look for you. 
if you're here and you want to have the assurance of your salvation, the joy of your salvation, you want to know this Jesus personally and intimately and exponentially and empirically and livingly, stand up and come out here. I'll bless you now and the blessings will follow you all the days of your life. You have suffered enough. Enough is enough. Come out here. If you want to be born again, you want to be a child of God, you want to follow Jesus and have him as your partner and Lord and Master, come. What I'm asking you to do tonight, I did it in 1958. Men and brethren, I've been enjoying myself. If you notice, this our program has been on auto, what? Auto drive. <laughs> We're not struggling to do anything. I will count four. If you are not here, uh, I will stop you from coming. Everybody can't go to heaven. No, no, everybody can't go to heaven. But if you want to go to heaven and enjoy, I have gone to heaven twice. When God asked me to return and go back and walk for 34 more years, I began to cry every day, said to God, it's unfair. And God asked me, oh man, will you argue with me? I have the final say. I said to God, I'm sorry. As I turned, here was my wife crying. Madam, why are you crying? She said, the doctor said you'll soon die. Which doctor? That doctor, his madness started from his legs. <laughs> I just come out of the house of the dead. God said to me, oh my, go back. And you're telling me I will soon die. Men and brethren, have I died? No. I want God to change your life. And make it a beautiful life. You don't have to struggle through life. You have to enjoy your life. Your life shall not be heaven on earth. Wonderful. I saw heaven and I cried. I said to God, Father, don't let me leave this place. <laughs> and God said, Woman, oh, there is, there is, a season and there is a regulation for everyone that will not go back. Raise up your hand. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart as my Lord and my Savior. Forgive me all my sins. Father, cleanse me and make me your child. Father, bless my life. May I live a life of righteousness. May I love you more every day. Father, I will hate sin and love righteousness. Write my name in the book of life and grant me the assurance of my salvation. Beginning tonight, I shall not be what I was yesterday. I want to start a great and a new life with you. Let it be so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Can we give them a clap offering somebody? <laughs> All, if you are giving your life to Christ, we would like to befriend you and know you more through our follow-up team. We want to partner with you as you go through life. We want to love you. We want your life to be a shining star. It shall be so. Can we all rise up? All those who have enjoyed this program tonight, come early tomorrow. Because tomorrow the crowd will be more than this. And those who come late shall be kept over there. You will not be one of them. Raise up your hand. Come. These three women, are they really Nigerians? Who are saying, do something, they're looking at me. 
like I am Mumu. Raise your hand. Thank the Lord. Bless you. Let God know you're happy to be part of this peaceful crowd. Where miracles happen with casual ease. The story of your life has changed. It has changed. It has changed. All that the enemy had for you has been cancelled. This great God says whatever he did not plant in your life is now uprooted. <laughs> wow. Satan, you are in trouble. This coming year shall be your year of happiness. Your year of rejoicing. Your year of dancing. Your year of celebration. And as you go home on Christmas, whoever sees you shall thank God for you. You will not borrow money for your destiny helpers will be looking for you to give you money. And you will go home in good health. Amazingly, your enemies will hug you and greet you and give you gifts. Wow. Your health shall bounce back. Beginning tonight, you are now a new creation. Raise your hand and just thank the Lord and the chairman will come. No, we'll take our second offering. We'll take our second offering. Give that offering that God may bless you more abundantly. That God may make you the treasurer of your family. That God may not allow you to borrow anymore or owe anymore. Let the story of your finances change. Raise your hand. Thank the Lord. Bless you. Keep standing, keep standing, keep standing. We're about to leave. I want to call and uh, uh, Sam Ogbok to come so that you know the person you have to submit your testimony. 20 good testimony. This is a man. When you come either this evening or tomorrow, please submit your name to him. And uh, I want to tell you that Come early tomorrow because there will be great miracle. Can we share the grace in fellowship as you give your offering? The grace. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our life, we shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Amen. Shalom. Good night, but allow our leaders to leave, please. Don't crowd this side. Allow the guest ministers and others to leave. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.